puff and blow all the air out of your lungs. You hear me? All the air out of your lungs, Justin. Oh, God. How's it going, guys? Welcome to another edition of Friday Fright Night. Today's horror film I'm watching is Event Horizon. So, with this one, I believe it's kind of a horror sci-fi. Um, don't know anything about the premise, though. I just know that stars Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button. That'd be fantastic. With that said, let's get into it. So this is one of those films that, like, not only have I not seen it before, but I really have not any iota about the premise. Not sure about this music, to be honest. I don't think it's, it's not, it's not create capturing that mood or atmosphere. To listen to it. It's like, it's like a rave or something. Singularity. Ah, singularity. Layman's terms. <laughs> Fuck layman's terms. Do you speak English? <laughs> Paper. Excuse me, uh, that's Vanessa and that's mine. Uh, an attractive piece of paper represents <laughs> the shortest distance between two points is zero, and that's what the gateway does. What? It folds. TDRS did receive this single transmission. What? Jeez. I'm not even sure if it qualifies as language. Latin. What? It sounds like Latin. Can you translate it? Say it again. Look at me, someone on board who speaks Latin. I'm glad they haven't said that crappy music during the intro since. Event Horizon, do you read? Dr. Weir! I think you want to see this. What the hell is up with his seat? It's like a swing. Does that indicate something is alive under? It's just life forms? Okay, we do it the hard way. need to be on that ship. Once we've secured the ship, we'll bring you on no, board. I'm sorry, that's unacceptable. I need to be on that ship. Once that's we've secured the ship... ...to the event horizon. <sighs> You're at the outer airlock door. Oh god, you're gonna see, like, bodies floating around now as well, aren't they? Look at all those objects. Please. And the crew can use the Ford X as a lifeboat. I don't think they ever got to that, uh, opportunity, or that I'm point. Looks like it's never been used. So I wonder like how many were on board. Did they specify that at all? Doctor, you'd know it by now. Oh my god. Oh god. He's gotta be the first casualty. Whoa, what the hell? Got some blood here. It's like a mouth opening. Leak. It's like symbolism. Man, this shit is everywhere. Ship's log. Ah. This could provide some very important and well needed information. Oof. Holy shit! I do not think that's a wise decision. So we're pretty much fucked. What about the event horizon? Fuck that. She's got an air and power. Oh, okay. He seems remarkably composed in spite of what's been happening and what has just happened. It's building up with every breath we take. And the CO2 and every move we make. Enough breathable air for twenty hours. But after that we better be on our way home. I wonder, like, is he going to be infected or altered or something? That whatever happened to him could happen to all of us. Mr. Cooper says he saw something. I believe he saw something. Mr. Cooper's delusional. <laughs> Jesus. But maybe he saw... An I can get his frustration, though. I think Weir has been a bit of a, bit of a prick, to be honest. To create that, Doctor. If some... Lieutenant, I want this room sealed off. Second containment from here on in is off limits. Yes, sir. Captain, there's no danger. I knew he was gonna have an issue with that. <sighs> Beginning to think he can't be trusted. What the hell? Mommy. Imagining this. <laughs> it's a 
final entry in the ship's log. I want to say. Surely was a farewell. Oh, that's a bit attacked. What is that? I'll run it through a few filters. <laughs> oh. The dark. <laughs> Oh, he has seen something. He keeps trying to play it down. Like, he's had hallucinations as well. He's fucked. Well, thank you for that scientific analysis, Mr. Smith. Yeah, we need to be. Fuck, I saw Like, he knows about these things. Why? What are you doing? Oh, nice. Miller, Smith, Cooper, anyone in the yellow? Negative, Stark. Justin. Justin's in the airlock. Say again. Justin is in the airlock and he is not wearing a suit. Ooh. Is he committing suicide then or something? Dark inside me from the other place. I won't go back there. I won't. Oh, God. Where am I? All the air out of your lungs, Justin. Oh, God. No! Stabilize them best I can. He won't be pretty, but he should live. Operations, this is possible. Bullshit! You built this fucking ship. You've given me nothing but bullshit. Mm. What do you want me to say? The truth. Good enough, doctor. You're supposed to be the fucking expert. I need answers. That's your job. Now the other place. Oh, now it's his time to hallucinate. Captain, you have to gotta keep it all and contain the fear that you have because you, you can't show it to the rest of the crew. I closed the lifeboat hatch and I left him behind. Uh, that, that's just it, DJ. I, I never told anybody. But this ship knew about it. There. The ferries. Save yourself. Maybe. This ship has been beyond the boundaries of our universe. Hmm. Things they can't comprehend properly. We're are, are yeah, the doctor, is he aware of this? Or something along those lines. It's like It's like Hellraiser in space or something. Perfect. Rescue the crew, salvage what's left of the ship. The crew is dead, Doctor. Your ship killed them. You just get your gear and get back on the Lewis and Clark, Doctor, or you'll find yourself walking home. I am home. Oh my god. Fucked. And fucked for them though as well. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh, oh god. I suppose he cares to be honest with you. Wonderful things. Show you. Oh. Get out of there. Come again, sir? One of the explosives is missing from the corridor. We might have put it on the Clark. No. Ugh. Where are you, fucking prick? Why is this shit gonna happen to me? <laughs> what the fuck? He's floating through space. Here I come, motherfuckers! Gone. Smitty and Cooper are dead. But, but the... It was weird. You spot him, you take him out. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he even aware of what he's doing? At this stage. Oh my god. What happened?
happened to your eyes? Bing. We won't need eyes to see. What are you talking about? Eyes horizon to reach the stars. But she's gone much, much farther than that. A dimension of pure chaos. You want pure that? Evil. When oh God. Whoa. Like uh the crew member who died years ago he was talking about. Big play, get her in. There you go. I can't breathe. I can't you're okay, you're okay. It's over. No, it's not. What? Oh the hell oh god. What the fuck? The hell? Oh my god. We're <laughs> Jeez. It's been to a place you couldn't possibly imagine. And now it is time to go back. He plays the, the villain really well, which of course seen him as like Damien Thorne in the third omen as well, so he has a history of it. Not your crew anymore. They belong to the ship. I didn't envision Sam Neil looking like this by the end of the film. The gateway is open, and you are all coming with me. Yes, I see. Kind of lost track really of like which part of the ship is intact, which is broken, where were they originally? Oh wait, did he die as well? Miller. They're with us. Oh shh. I need a sound here now. It's the rescue team. We're safe. Okay, okay. Are they? We're safe. Okay, so we just got done watching Event Horizon. Um yeah, as I said during the reaction, my way of summing this one up would be Hellraiser in space. That's basically what it is. Um, yeah, uh, there was definitely aspects of this film I did enjoy. I thought it was like the some of the visuals were like extremely disturbing. I said like like Hellraiser is really graphic. I, I I didn't um expect it to be as um as horrific as it was, you know, but it really was just like. Hellraiser in space, um, and I also just was really surprised, but uh, pleased that uh, that that Fishburne uh, Miller did, didn't make it out, like that he actually was taken with it, because I really just assumed I thought he would just be the lone survivor, to be honest, uh, for a large portion of the film, um, and Sam Neill as well. Like I didn't kind of realize how um, and, like evil his character would become. I know there was subtle seeds of him like really being obsessed with the event horizon and the ship, but uh, the lengths he went to like to just like didn't care about anyone but but retrieving the ship and um, kind of what what it did and what what he became after that. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, so yeah, like I think like this part of me like we're enjoying it. Where like there was a lot of stuff, a lot of surprises, um, even the ending with 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 the uh, with Stark and. Uh, it seems to suggest that like it wasn't finished because she had the hallucination again like they'd been having during the film um so there definitely as i said there was definitely aspects of the film that uh, were very surprising and um you know i was taken aback by it, which i liked um I, uh, I just feel there was something lacking as well i think it was maybe a little uneven at times um yeah so i'm somewhere in the middle with it i'm a little conflicted okay I, I would recommend it, but I guess I wouldn't say it's the, the greatest horror film out there, but, but, but solid, a solid effort. Um, with interesting performances from um, Sam Neill and Lawrence Fishburne in particular. Um, 
So, so yeah, no, I, I, I would recommend it. Um, but, you know, not the greatest in the world. But, but there's definitely aspects of it were, that were really good. Um, so yeah, kind of in the middle. I think I'd probably have to watch it a second time to really kind of um, give a full and frank um, and solid evaluation of what I really think of it. So I guess I would weigh it in at around like maybe a six and a half. Maybe six and a half out of ten. But some parts of it I think would go up to a seven out of ten. Seven and a quarter maybe. Um, but I don't know in the comments though. Like, Joe, where would you rank... Um, Event Horizon among your favourite horror films or among your favourite sci-fi horror films. Um, do you really like to know? Get some conversations going in the comments. Uh, but until next time, guys, it's long fall.